I got a new hat and suspenders to match my new bow tie. Pinstripe pants, leather spats, and a monocle for my left eye. I am notorious for my sideburns, goatee, and silver tooth. I got a pint of brandy, some butterscotch candy. And this time it's the truth. I got a valuable antique pool cue. My shirt's clean, starched in blue. I got a tab at the bar and a fat cigar and a large obscene tattoo. I know a sweet old gal. I got a checkerboard. I was wounded in the war. I got a brass spittoon in the month of June and a hound dog by the door. I got a new hat and suspenders to match my new bow tie. I said it before and I'll say it some more. And I'll say it till the day I die, while I play my ukulele with a flower in my lapel. I'm having fun. I've got a gun, so you all go to hell. Thank you. Thank you. All righty, sure. Well, another capo experiment here. <clears throat> I guess maybe uh, some people watching may not know how the capo works. So what, a simple question, what's the idea of the capo and mm -hmm. what, uh, what advantage is that uh, using a capo over just playing, you know, the, without the capo on there? Well, I think most people nowadays use capos, but um, some people might prefer the more challenging method of playing in every key without cheating, you know. But uh, essentially what the capo does, it raises the pitch um, by, you know, a half step each, each fret that you place it on. And therefore you can play certain formations uh, and have it fit with your voice better, but play a kind of a preferred arrangement rather than changing the arrangement around and uh, nowadays they have really elaborate capos that cover some of them just cover part of the strings so you can have some strings open and some right. capoed and uh, so it can be you can get really imaginative with it I, I haven't really explored those very much but I do use the standard capos quite a bit and in fact I you know people who pay who are guitarists who are paying attention um, may notice that I actually have my guitar tuned down a whole step. So it's in standard tuning, but it's a whole step lower than, uh, than standard tuning. And uh, that seems to fit with my, my voice well when I play with the strings open, which I'll do a little bit here pretty soon, you know. But it's then for the open. others, I've moved the capo up to adjust. It's not an open tuning, but you just have like the E turned down, tuned down to a D. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And so it's in the same uh, proportion as the standard tuning. The, E A D G B E, but it's uh, they're all a whole step lower. So, huh. yeah, and I just sort of hit upon that because I was frustrated. I, I had an arrangement I wanted to make work for a song, and it was uh, stretching my voice too much, which doesn't have much range. And and finally, I decided, well, I'm just going to tune the guitar down rather than trying to keep stretching this or, or rewrite the whole arrangement. So, and then you know, I just kept doing it. It seemed to work okay that way on the second fret then you're actually in standard yeah tuning. now I'm in standard tuning right now <laughs> give or take <laughs> with my tuning abilities yeah, well, so. that's, yeah I didn't I hadn't in my ears not that good I didn't really uh -huh. notice uh, that much but uh, yeah it's interesting yeah well I um, I was playing down in Effingham once with a uh, one of those really good guitar players, his name's uh, Larry Pasolacqua, who can hear like about half a measure of what you're playing and start playing along and sound wonderful. Yeah. And, but in addition to using his ear, he does use his eyes, and he saw the 
chord formations I was forming, but they weren't fitting with what he was playing. And then he <laughs> figured out, like, you know, after two or three measures, like, hey, wait a minute, you're tuned down <laughs> a whole step. But he adjusted. You know, some people are just uh, pretty amazing that way. I'm not one of those people, but. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Well, so, let's hear something. Then. Okay. In standard tuning with the capo one. There you go. Now we're now we're in standard tuning, even though it doesn't look like it ought to be. Um, all right. Well, I'm going to try. Uh, I, I, sounds kind of funny. I'm going to try one of my own songs, but uh, I I tend to write some of my songs that push my <laughs> push my limits a little bit. Uh, musically or vocally? When you, like the. Not vocally. I don't tend to push my voice too much, but uh, the guitar arrangement sometimes I. Um, I get them how I want them, but they're just kind of hard for me to do. Yeah. <laughs> and but I, I want to hang on to them that way. And so, so you know, after a while, they get to be more second nature to me. But 